that you won't say one thing one day and something totally different the next. And it certainly takes more than trying to make up for a year of insults and insinuations by dropping in on our neighbors for a few hours and then flying home again. That is not how it works. Hillary Clinton today casting doubt on Donald Trump's trip to Mexico even before he arrived there. And we're back now with our panel. So let's put up uh, some of these latest Fox News polls. Uh, let's start with the horse race. In a two-way race, Clinton now leads Trump by six points, 48 percent to 42. That's down from a 10-point lead earlier this month. And in a four-way race, including Gary Johnson and Jill Stein, uh, Clinton's lead over Trump is now just two points, 41 percent to 39. Amy, how big a role do you think the continuing controversy over the emails and the Clinton Foundation play in the tightening in these polls? No, I think there's a, uh, that's absolutely a big piece of this. I think there are probably three things going on. The focus on her weaknesses, the fact that Donald Trump himself has not gotten himself into hot water this week. It's had a pretty decent week, and we can go all about about it's stumbling around about making an immigration position, but the fact is there hasn't done. And the third is that these third party candidates, you didn't put those numbers up, but that's where you even see a bigger tightening. You know, getting 13 points in your poll, 8 points, 10 points in some other polls. Usually this is a point in an election where the third party candidates drop off and start getting 3, 4 points. They're continuing to stay up at that level. So I think that all leads to a tightening. I think really where this race is, is at the end of the day, this is a 4 four or five point race is what most of the polls are showing. But remember, it was also a four point race in 2012. Barack Obama, Mitt Romney had a competitive race, but at the end of the day, it was about four points and obviously a big electoral college win. So he's got to do more than just tighten. We got to figure he's got to figure out a way to get over that hump that Mitt Romney wasn't able to do. I want to put up one more number from the latest Fox News poll. The likelihood that the Clintons were selling influence to those who donated to the Clinton Foundation. Very or somewhat likely, 66%, not likely or not at all, 30%, which basically is two to one. How we folks believe this is, or was, pay to play. Yeah, and you have the drip, drip, drip of new allegations every day about the foundation, about the email, you know, people aren't following all of the uh, details. And, you know, the race was always going to tighten. Hillary was not going to sail into November with a 10-point lead. You look at, and, and it obscured the fact that these are two unpopular candidates. You look at this Fox News poll, Hillary Clinton's unfavorable is 53%, Donald Trump's is 56%, although well, that's down from 63% in early August. So it seems to me that this is important psychologically, because a lot of people in the media were kind of declaring in this race over and then you but of course the battleground states is where this is going to be decided and at least for now we're still putting into play making competitive uh some reliably red states north carolina arizona georgia where is trump the very is fact that trump is going to be speaking in arizona tonight right. is an indication of that and he has yet to show although this could change uh, that he could put some of those reliably blue uh, rust belt states into play uh, charles the fbi we learned last week has turned over fifteen thousand new emails either that they've recovered from the, the the server that supposedly have been deleted or from other accounts 15,000 new clinton emails turned them over to the state department is there a particular area that you're especially in something that you're particularly looking to see what's going to come out of these and what do you think is the likelihood of a game changer i mean this scandal has been going on controversy has been going on for more than a year now do you think it can still have the capacity to change people's minds Look, for a year I've thought, and I've said that I think the real hidden story in the emails, the reason she probably set it up in the first place, the reason it was all concealed, the reason so many were deleted, probably has to do with the foundation and with the fact that it is inextricably bound with her tenure in the State Department and that, however, whether there's smoke and gun or not, there's a lot of smoke. And look at the, the numbers you showed. Two-thirds of the numbers whose influence that was sold. And the problem is that there are the 15,000. Look at what happened today. She gives a speech in Cincinnati, supposed to be a big speech, foreign affairs, supposed to stake out her ground, completely ignored. The only story that you really hear about her is the more email story, the 15,000. All of this stuff, every day the story is the emails. Every day is the this, is this story about her honesty. And I think that that's the threat. That's why her numbers have shrunk. And that's what she has to, to look ahead to, 
for the next 70 days. Stephen, we've got a little bit of time left. Today marks 270 days since Hillary Clinton held a news conference, December 4th, yeah. at 2015. <clears throat> Does it matter? Do people care? Her campaign said, look, she's had 300 plus interviews. Do folks care? And what does it show? Well, they, they've made a calculation that what she would have to answer, the question she would have to answer in that press conference could potentially do more damage to her than this continuing story that she's not doing press conferences. And I think actually their calculation is correct. Um, if you look at the, not only is the email story continuing, I would argue it's growing and it's growing in its seriousness. I mean, she did sign this document in August of last year, about this time last year, under penalty of perjury, saying she turned over all her work-related emails. We now have emails between Hillary Clinton and David Petraeus, Hillary Clinton and Sidney Blumenthal about Libya, and now potentially about Benghazi, which was why this whole thing got started in the first place. That's it for the panel, but stay tuned to see what happens when a major party nominee for vice president meets some strangers.